In 2018, NASA has launched this little guy into space from the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. It is called Parker Solar Probe, built by NASA and its partners. Parker's task is to touch the sun. It will fly more than seven times closer to the sun than any spacecraft, according to NASA. But there is a big problem. The surface temperature of the sun is about 5,500 degrees Celsius. So the question is how Parker Solar Probe resists such a devastating condition? This is SpaceX. Over seven years, the spacecraft will complete 24 orbits around the sun. At its closest approach, the spacecraft will come within about 6.2 million kilometers of the sun. To know what's going on, look at the structure of the sun first. The outermost layer is the corona known as the solar atmosphere. Parker will investigate what drives the wide range of particles, energy, and heat that course through the region. You even can't imagine how inside the corona is super hot. But why does not that spacecraft melt? Engineers designed Parker Solar Probe to withstand extreme conditions and temperature fluctuations during its mission. The key lies in its special heat shield and an autonomous system that helps protect the mission from the sun's intense light emission. Understanding the concept of heat versus temperature is crucial. High temperatures do not always translate to actually heating another object. In space, the temperature can reach thousands of degrees without providing significant heat to a given object or feeling hot because temperature measures how fast particles are moving. However, heat measures the total amount of energy that they transfer. Particles may be moving fast causing high temperatures, but if there are very few of them, they won't transfer much energy to cause low heat. As I told you before that space is mostly empty. So there are very few particles that can transfer energy to the spacecraft. The corona through which Parker Solar Probe flies has an extremely high temperature but very low density. Think of the difference between putting your hand in a hot oven versus putting it in a pot of boiling water. Hey, don't try this at home. In the oven, your hand can withstand significantly hotter temperatures for longer than in the water. Because in the water, there are many more particles which are interacting. Similarly, the corona is less dense. That means Parker Solar Probe interacts with fewer hot particles and doesn't receive as much heat. The surface of the heat shield that faces the sun will only get heated to about 1,400 degrees Celsius. Parker Solar Probe makes use of a heat shield known as the Thermal Protection System, or TPS. The TPS was built with using a carbon composite foam sandwiched between two carbon plates. In this way, almost all instrumentation is safe. Look at them. After the launch, Parker Solar Probe started to detect the position of the sun and aligned the thermal protection shield to face it. Over the course of seven years of planned mission duration, the spacecraft will approach the sun to sample the solar wind. According to the Skylive website, Parker Solar Probe is currently in the constellation of Capricornus.